got to talk about two incredibly stupid people now. We're going to start with this one. Who's it, AOC? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, oh, okay, Coming another up. one. Unjoyful this, Reed. This is this is not joyful Reed. Yeah, um, she's unjoyful. She's a radical, way left-wing host of the readout on MSNBC. And this is a quote from her the other day. Florida is now thinking about going permitless carry with very little in the way of a background check. What is happening here? Now, the fact is that's not true, but that's the way she explained it. However, we already know she's nuts. You're not going to believe this guy. That guy is a U.S. congressman. His name is Maxwell Frost. He's part Lebanese, part Haitian, member of the U.S. Congress. And in response to Joy Reid's question about carrying guns in Florida, which, by the way, has a spectacularly low crime rate because of people carrying guns, just saying, mm -hmm. his response was, well, that is pure fascism. <laughs> because you this can guy, carry a gun. Yes. This guy's an actual member of Congress. Let me tell you, Mr. Incredibly Dumb Congressman, you don't know what the heck you're talking about. Here's the definition of fascism. Fascism is a far-right, authoritarian, ultra-nationalist political ideology and movement characterized by a dictatorial leader, centralized autocracy, militarism, forcible suppression of opposition, belief in a natural social hierarchy and subordination of individual interests for the perceived good of the nation, the race, and a strong regimentation of society and the economy. Now, since this guy is so stupid that he doesn't know what fascism is, here's a history lesson, Mr. Congressman. Here are the two most infamous fascists of all time. The short guy that's bald as Benito Mussolini, who was the dictator of it, the 30s and 40s until the people overthrew him and lynched him and killed him. And his disciple and pupil, the other guy with the goofy mustache, is Adolf Hitler. Fascists, these two guys, are the greatest fascists in world history. Actually, Mussolini sort of made it up. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes from the uh, Latin of the fascistas, the, the bundles of wheat that are wrapped by the Romans. He copied that name. Um, the first thing that fascists do is seize guns. The first thing. Yeah. And dictators around the world, Stalin, Hitler, Mussolini, Mao, Pol Pot. Biden. Democrat. The Democrat Party. The first thing they want to do yep. is collect all the guns. Why yep. do they want to collect all the guns? So when the Gestapo comes to your front yard, like happened to my grandparents, you have no way to defend yourself. You get on the truck and off you go, in their case, to Auschwitz. So this poor guy who's so dumb, this guy, he's got a nice smile, though gets on national television and says, fascists want people who believe in the Constitution to carry guns, that those people are fascists. When the reality is it's the exact opposite. It the is. The people that collect the guns, those are the fascists. Yeah. But, you know, they do that all the time, Barry. And just like you read the definition, it said it was uh, far right, is actually far leftist. Hitler was a leftist, right? He was he was he was completely to the left. Socialism Na is a national leftist. socialism. That's the yeah. name. Na yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Nazi Nas nationalist. Yes, that is a total leftist movement, and they come out and they lie, trying to say, "Well, no, they're the fascists. They're the fascists." But in actuality, the left, all of these leftist people, they are the fascists. And think about it, Barry. They had her talking about defunding the police department. The, one of the reasons why they want to defund the police department is because once they make it to where the police, there, there are no police or is very minimum amount of police, they can create chaos in the streets of America.
And after they create chaos in the streets of America to prevent people from being able to have firearms to protect themselves, they can call in a third party to come in and disarm everybody. That's that's the whole reason why behind them wanting to get rid of police officers so they can disarm the masses. And once they disarm the masses, they're going to repeat history all over again. And they're going to come in and they're going to slaughter people who believe in God, believe in country, believe in freedom, believe in marriage between a man and a woman, believe that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. They're going to come and they're going to eliminate those people from society. That's their goal. That's a lot of hateful words out of your mouth, Will Johnson. <laughs> You're supporting American values. You believe in the Bible. There's something really wrong with you. Oh, Barry, I had this I had this guy on Twitter said that I was being a bigot because I said men cannot get pregnant. Well, that's well, yeah, of course, because and I'm like, how, you, don't need but, a, you don't need a uterus to get pregnant anymore. Yeah. But I'm like, how was how was when did the truth become bigotry? I, I don't understand. 